how to enable JIT on iOS 17. If you're eager to boost the performance of your emulators or virtual machines on your iPhone or iPad running iOS 17, you're in the right place. Enabling just-in-time JIT compilation can make a significant difference, but it's not as straightforward as it used to be. Here's how you can do it. First, you need to understand what JIT is. JIT compilation helps apps, especially emulators like Dolphin or PPSSPP, and virtual machines run much faster and smoother. However, iOS normally doesn't allow JIT for security reasons. To enable JIT on iOS 17, you'll need to use a tool called SideJIT Server. This method doesn't require a jailbreak, which is a big plus. Here's what you need to do. Start by downloading and installing SideJIT Server from its GitHub page. This tool works on both Windows and Mac OS, but if you're using Windows, you'll need to install Python first. Make sure to add Python to your system's path during the installation process. If you're on Windows, you'll also need to install iTunes to ensure everything works smoothly. Connect your iPhone or iPad to your computer via USB or ensure both devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. Follow the instructions on the GitHub page to set up SideJIT server. This involves running some commands to get everything set up correctly. For those using a Mac, the process is a bit different due to changes in iOS 17. You'll need to install Xcode command line tools and Homebrew. Here are the steps. Open Terminal on your Mac and install Xcode command line tools using the command Xcode select install. If you encounter any issues, you might need to create a specific directory and file as described in the instructions. Install Homebrew using the provided command. Once you've set up SideJIT server, you can enable JIT for your apps. For example, if you're using emulators like Dolphin or PPSSPP, you can now enjoy smoother performance without any lag. If you're using AltStore, the process is slightly different. You need to ensure your device and alt server are on the same Wi-Fi network. Open the My Apps tab in AltStore, long press the app you want to use JIT with, and press Enable JIT. You'll see a notification confirming that JIT has been enabled. Remember, with iOS 17, Apple made some changes that require a more specific setup for JIT, but with SideJIT Server or Alt Store, you can still get it working seamlessly. So go ahead and give it a try to see the performance boost for yourself.